Hi there, I'm John Lebensold, and in this video we're going to set up WordPress on our local computer where we're going to be writing our own very simple WordPress theme and we are going to start building the beginnings of a bare bones template. So we're going to start from the ground up and we're going to do this by first looking at the default theme and seeing a bit about how it's constructed. So you'll notice here that I've actually started by navigating to wordpress.org and you'll see right here that you can actually download WordPress just by clicking on this link here and then downloading the zip file. Now once it's downloaded to your computer simply take the WordPress zip file double click on it and it should create a new folder. Now I've already got a WordPress folder here so I'm going to delete that and I'm just going to rename WordPress 2 to WordPress. So if I look at this now I've got what you would consider a very simple uh, WordPress structure. Just extracted the files onto my file system. If you're using a hosting provider like GoDaddy or DreamHost or anybody with cPanel, you probably have a goodies or one-click installer section where you can actually just install WordPress on your web server without having to download WordPress at all. But at the end of the day, whether you're using this locally or you're using this on your web server, you're going to end up with this kind of directory structure. So now that we have WordPress installed, I'm just going to go to my MAMP control panel and I'm going to open my start page. When I open my start page, I'll see that there's a button here for PHP My Admin. Now PHP My Admin is a tool for managing our MySQL database. This MySQL database is going to be handling the configuration and also the content of our WordPress installation. So under database, I've got a whole bunch of databases that I've already created before, but I'm going to create a new one for this particular project, and I'm going to call it WP Video. I'm just going to hit create. Now because this is running locally, the username and the password are both going to be root. So with WordPress installed and my database created, I'm just going to close this and I'm going to close this and I'm going to navigate to localhost, which is the uh, place on my web server that corresponds to what was set up with MAMP. So MAMP is now pointing at this WordPress directory and this is what we get when we hit the WordPress page. So the first thing we have to do is create this configuration file. We hit let's go. The database name is WP Videos. The username is root. The password is root. The database host is localhost. And we don't need to worry about the table prefix. I hit submit. And it says it does not have permission. Hold on one second. Ah, there we go. So it's actually WP Video, not WP Videos. And now I'm going to run the install. Now that WordPress has installed all of the tables that it needs in the database that we picked, I'm just going to give it a blog title. And I'm going to put in my email address. So now I have a username, admin, and a password, which is really quite complicated. I'm going to hit login, go admin, paste in the password. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the admin password to something that I can remember. And I'm going to update my profile. And now if I visit the website, you'll see that we've basically got a very simple WordPress template. This is the default Kubrick theme. On the right hand side we have a sidebar. We have a header here. And we have a main content pane, which you can see on the default page. And we, of course, have a footer at the bottom. Now, what we're going to do is build up a template like this one, bit by bit, from scratch. Now, in the last video, I showed you some templates that I've done in this format. And so I'm just going to quickly go back so that you can see them. This is on, again, a local machine. I'm going to go to Design. These are two templates that... I managed to put together relatively quickly using the method that 
we're going to be doing here where we've got basically a header we've got some kind of sidebar we have a footer and a bit of CSS to give it the style that we need and here's another example same concept we have a sidebar on the right we have some designs on the left and we have a nice footer with a couple of flourishes at the bottom so the next step is to actually create a template that we can work with so when I log in or when I go back to the localhost the back end which is accessible via localhost and then WP admin I'll get back to the dashboard and if I click on design here I'll see that I have the current theme and I have WordPress classic now both of these themes are accessible via the WP content themes folder so if I go back to my WordPress folder here and I click on WP content and then themes I'll see that classic and default are actually two names of folders that correspond to the themes that I'm seeing actually here so the first step is we're gonna create a new folder for our new template I'm going to call this my template and there's nothing in there right now the only thing that's going to change now is that there's going to be a broken theme listed down here that says that the style sheet is missing now the way that WordPress figures out all of the metadata the title of the theme and the description and any sort of tags is based on the style.css file so that file is absolutely required. Now let's open Text Wrangler and let's create ourselves a style.css file. So I'm going to start by going File, New Text Document, File, Save As, and I'm just going to navigate to my Themes folder, which for me is in WordPress. WP content, themes, my template, and I'm going to call this style.css. So now that we've saved our style.css file, we need to create a comment block at the top of the file. 